So look, I think I got banned from this pickup location because this customer said I hate his car. It's Diddy Kane, I'm back. It's time for us to get to this money, and that's a fact. Well, look, we ain't been getting to the money lately. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys the truth. July 3rd, July 4th, and July 5th, we got zero orders. We ain't go out there and get an order. So these orders are from July 2nd. Now, we got order number one and two. Pull up and get this money is what we're about to do. This is on Roadie 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 with a Devon Ranch. This is on the Rody app. We have two orders to pick up again. The first one is gonna be 20 bags of mulch and then two bags of fertilizer. We're gonna drive six miles for 4674. Y'all know we love getting to that dough. And order number two is 20 bags of salt. We're gonna drive three miles for 4485. It's time for us to pick up the prize and drive. Let's go. Yeah, I'm picking up two mulch and some uh, rocks. The mulch outside, huh? Over here? Yes. Okay. A few moments later. <clears throat> y'all see what's going on. Y'all see y'all put down the tarp. So we're gonna put all of the mulch bags and everything kind of in a, a little bit behind. And we're gonna put the rocks right here. And we're gonna get in the clear. Last one. <clears throat> the question is, are they gonna fit right here? You think so? Yeah, I think so. I think so too. Yeah, it shouldn't be a problem. Uh, did they give you the paperwork up front? Yeah, they gave me paperwork already. Okay, good. Appreciate you. Yeah. You get so you gotta pick all this stuff? Yes. Hey. Even the smoke right here. Yeah, um this uh this one we do by hand, but like in uh I'll usually have it on like a pallet. Yeah, this this guy has, uh, this guy actually has another order for like 50 bags for pallet. Oh really? So that's going to go out on a truck later. Oh, it's going to go out on a box truck? Yeah. Okay. But well, I wish I could get it all, but I can't. <laughs> I appreciate you, boss. You have a good one. Yeah, you too. Take care. Yes, sir. We are here at the drop-off. We're here to knock these socks off. We're trying to uh, ball like hot sauce. We're actually at a car wash. So we're going to put everything right here. We're about to get in the clear. Let's go. Last one. Guess what? We just got the job done. <laughs> now we gotta step back here with the photo. You already know though. Smack. We gone. Stop number two. We hear what it do. We're gonna put these joints right in front of this pallet and these rocks. We gotta keep on getting to this money. We ain't gonna never stop. Let's go. Sit this right here. <laughs> Last one. We are getting it done. <laughs> now we gotta step back, handle the photo. You already know though. Smash. We go. Let's go ahead and get into some of the story. I was sitting at home editing a video for you guys, right? And then I see I received the email that says I'm following up for my last email from somebody from Curry. So I'm like, I don't know what they're talking about. So I go back. Now mind you, I get so 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 many emails. So if y'all guys email me about stuff, I don't know if I'm getting it or not. I don't really check it that much as much as I should check it. But I get a lot, a lot, a lot of emails. I'm talking about hundreds and hundreds a week. So I went in there and, I, and it says, hey Jerome, a customer reported damage to their vehicle when you were unloading the above delivery on June 18th. So I went on June 18th and I looked and this is what happened. Oh. I took one of those too. The fake uh, I almost did. Right, it was nice. See, you yeah. gotta cover that thing. Yeah. I'm sure that wasn't a fun day, huh? Right, yeah, it was my buddy who did it. And I told him, slow down, <laughs> slow down. And all of a sudden he did that. Like, took it right to the nose. Y'all saw what happened. I absolutely tweaked. I tried to undo the bungee. It got caught on the pole, that little pole thing that we use to uh, block off stuff. And it flew, flew out the side of the van. Now, I didn't hear any bing, ding, no, I didn't hear no noises. So I cannot confirm or deny if the bungee did hit the customer car, the customer was also there. He started telling me the story about how his friend he was working with one time had the bungee. He said, do you got it? And he said, yeah, I got it. And that joint flew out and bow, smacked him in the face. 
So he's not talking to me about that. So again, I cannot confirm or deny if the bungee hit the customer's car. So after I talked to them, I reached out to the customer because I still had his number from when I did the delivery. Reached out to him, we talked about what happened, and guess what? We about to go do with these orders. We are here getting an order. Now, we about to do sun run. About to have a little fun, so about to get these funds and uh, run. We are picking up 13 panels. We're gonna drive 18.5 miles for 70. 45 is a great time to be alive. Let's go. Appreciate you, boss. You have a good one. How you doing, sir? Yeah, we're just doing the delivery. We're just dropping off the panels oh, for this them. Is the delivery. Okay. Yes. Okay, sir. Where should I, will, I sit will, them? On uh, the side. I will just move. Yeah. Okay. You move this one. Yeah. Okay. I'll just sit on the side right here. Just like that, we are done. We are here getting these fun. Shout out to everybody at Sun Run. They ain't come neither though, so it is what it is. Step back and look at the photo, we already know. Smack. We got that one. And then we got number two. What it do if you hate to get you in your crew? Hey, how's it going? What's going on with you, boss? Hello, my friend. How you doing? I'm doing great. I can't I can't complain. You guys have a good one. I got you, I got you, I got you. You wanna know the rest of the story, I got you. So when me and the customer spoke on the phone, he let me know that he saw these three dings on his door, on his driver door and he could not figure out for the life of him on where it came from. And the thing that popped up in his head was when that bungee flew out the side door. Now, he's not for sure I hit it, and I'm not for sure I hit it. But he said he's an honest man, and I'm an honest man. And if I did hit his vehicle, I'm going to get it fixed. He asked me did I have insurance. I said yes, but I, me personally, I would prefer to uh, pay it out of pocket. I'm not trying to mess with no insurance companies. Do I own time to do all that. So he's supposed to send me a photo of the dings, and also he's going to go out there and get like a few estimates to see how much this thing is gonna cost. Since then though, I have not received any curry, 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 curry. I have not received any cur curry orders ever since this email until today. Today I got an order that's supposed to be driving 21 miles. We're supposed to pick up one, well, two items for 61.69 when stopping until we shine. I'm on my way there. I'm probably like maybe three or four minutes away. And guess what? That joint got canceled right on my way there. So this pickup location is a newer contract for Curry. Now, previously when I went there, I had no problem. I go in there, get busy, get my stuff, uh -huh, load the van up, go out there and get that money like it ain't funny. Until one day, I met a different person. I've never seen this person before. He's not newer or done, I don't think. I think it's the manager. I'm in there, I'm telling him the order number. He tell me, is there a reason why you're recording here? I said, yeah, I have a YouTube channel. No, you cannot record in here. I need to protect my employees, so you cannot record in here. So I said, okay, no problem. Don't worry about it. I turned the camera off right there. And I did not even post that video. So that was that was the end of that. Guess what? I get home later on, and he actually reached out to Curry and told him what was going on. And my guy Craig, huge shout out to my guy Craig. He let me know that they said that I could not record in there no more. I can record outside of the building, but inside of the building, absolutely not so what i did was i'm not recording them at all all i'm going to do is record when the items are in the van and after the items are in the van i'm taking it to the drop off not they saw so that's it that's all so my question is this are those two situations the reason why they may have banned me comment below and let me know do you think that i am banned or are there just not any orders comment below and let me know and that's it that's all we're out there to ball and not stall now before we go if you're not subscribed, make sure you smash the subscribe button. We are getting closer and closer to the 100,000 subscribers. And once we get there, we are giving away over $1,000. In order to earn your chance to win some of them dividends, you must be subscribed. So not your chance if you want to go out there and get them banned. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you lock in tomorrow because it's going back down because we ain't playing around. Because on 2024, all we're doing is pull up the uh, score. I'll see you guys on the next one. Be going, be going, be flowing. You already know it is DDK. And I'm on my way.